Super Bowl with the second ranked total defense, top ranked pass the in the league, and the first in getting after the quarterback. I mean, that would give anybody reason to be hype about yeah. their squad, right? But today on GMFB, Giant Safety Julian Love, he took issue with how, let's say, excited Coach Sirianni has been about his squad. What's your reaction as a player and that guy's doing that? I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it at all. I mean, he's He's in for a free ride right now. You guys can coach this team and they can succeed. That's how. That's what we're looking for. That's how. A bulletin board right there. I mean, come on. Uh, you know what, man? You know, people always got something to say when they're at home. So they got some stuff to think about. So I ain't really going to touch too much on it. I just know that Coach Sirianni is, uh, it don't matter what he did last year with a team that, you know, nobody thought was going to do much. You know, he ended up getting us to the playoffs. That was Eagles defensive end Brandon Graham with a little rebuttal there to Julian Love's uh, criticism of his head coach. So, I mean, which side of this do you agree with, D. Hall? Let Coach Lynn? I mean, I'm with Brandon Graham. Yeah, hey, look, and, 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 and Julian Love, I understand where you're coming from, right? Sometimes I don't necessarily like the coaches all dancing in the videos and acting like they the man, but that's Nick Sirianni's right. energy. You know what I mean? Like, he's just a fun-loving guy. And, you know, MJ, me and you was talking a little earlier. Wasn't nobody saying that when my boy Sean McVay was sprinting up and down the sidelines looking all buff in his <laughs> chunky Campbell suit commercials. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm saying let Nick Sirianni live. But Julian Love, he's supposed to say that. He's a giant. He's in the division. He got beat down three times by this football team. So, yeah, they, he's supposed to say, yeah, they ain't very good. I don't like the coach dancing because he probably dancing, dancing on them. So uh, I, I feel where he's coming from. Well, I, I was, you know, this is where I got to show growth. I was I was going <laughs> to. I was, I was, I had Googled. Growth? I, grew, I Googled Love and. Was looked in his file cabinet. You Googled it. Was, his resume. His resume. It was a one shooter. It was a half a sheet. But I but understand. We're not I understand. Here. Nick Sirianni's in his second year. Eight players returning from that Super Bowl year, so he doesn't have a veteran team. But even if he does, he had to be part of the building process and had to make some tough calls, had to bring in some good players, uh, get rid of possibly some, some better players because it's all a juggling act. Can we find guys that, that fit our, uh, you know, our demeanor of, or who we want to be Philadelphia Eagles as I am the head coach? And so right. all I would say to, to, to love is, uh, you know, idle time is the devil's workshop. Oof. And, and, and we all have idle time. We all have our season shortened. And so when we get the opportunity now as football players and, uh, and the way the shield is, uh, just like somebody may say is the shield has to have players or, you, you know, the NBA or MLB, NHL, we have to have players who've had experience. Not all players have the same amount of experience of playing. And so I understand that uh, just like Love, I've sat during the playoffs and watched other teams play. And I can understand you get a little salty. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and he should be salty, right? And, and I get it. I would say this. In offseason, I would, I would say, because I, I do do a little scouting sometimes, um, see ball, attack ball, keep your eyes open when the ball is out in the air. Uh, don't close your eyes trying to tackle somebody because it's Slim Reaper. Um, oh. He kept his eyes open. You kept your eyes closed. So, uh, it's a metaphor. You know, <laughs> sure. ball tracking this offseason since you got so much time. <laughs> Look, Siri, at the end of the day, Sirianni's 41 years old, fifth youngest coach in, in a Super Bowl. Even if he wasn't, if he was 80, his team was up by like three touchdowns when he was doing that. I say let coach. And the camera came to him. That's it. They came to him. Yeah. He was minding his business, coaching up champions.